Okay guys, 2013 F10 and 5. If you ever look under the covers in the engine bay of your car, you've probably seen like millions of hoses, which is quite intimidating if you don't know what they're for. Today, what I want to show you guys is how many radiators slash coolers are here in front of the engine. This, when people look just behind the grill, they can see, well, pretty much two of them, but there's much more to it. So. I've already got them out of the car. They've been cleaned because it was a massive mess. So this is what they call, some people call the radiator pack or the condenser pack or cooler pack, whatever. But with the bolts removed, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the first one, which is the one at the very back here. So that's the closest one to the engine. And this is your actual radiator for the car. This is what cools the engine down. So uh, let's say this is number one, I'm going to put it aside. Um, then what comes next? I'll say this one in front of it. This is your intercooler cooler, or oh, this car, as you probably know, is a water to water intercooler. So it runs water to the, through these coolers in order to be able to, sorry, it's an air to water intercooler. It cools down the air that goes into your engine. So the air actually comes through this cooler and the one on top is actually your transmission oil cooler. If I turn it around, you're gonna see this one is your air conditioning condenser and right above it is your power steering fluid uh, cooler. So if we count, there's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. So we have five coolers. No, we also have this guy, which is the main one for your car. This is your oil cooler. That's the stuff that you want to make sure it's free of bugs and butterflies and dirt because this has to have a nice airflow in order to keep your oil cool. So that's six, isn't it? No, because it doesn't stop there. If you actually look right here, there is another cooler. This is also for the intercooler and there's another one exactly the same as this one on this side, which I have already removed. So this is a total of eight radiators and coolers in front of the F10 M5. If you like the video and want to know more technical specs about the M5, including the engine review that we're doing on this car, make sure you subscribe to the channel.